All right, well, we made it here, and uh, it's this is a green lot, so there there won't be any need for the uh, EV Go card. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and use my app because I have a prepaid amount on my card, and uh, go ahead and hook up. Okay, so I went ahead and started it. We're at only at 27% battery. I'm probably going to take a quick nap while this is charging and then uh, head out. But like I said, I probably won't go much past 55%, though we do have some winds kicking up. So I'll, I'll have to make sure to keep an eye out for those. This was a pretty standard charging session here. I do like this uh, site though, this is at the Sacramento International Airport. I do wish that they would install an additional DC fast charger here because one just really isn't enough and right now I see this as a crucial gateway charger up into Northern California. It's one of very few 125 amp chargers north of Sacramento. So after this, the next one along Interstate 5 would be in Redding. And the rest of the chargers along this route are, are much, much slower. But I also only captured about 20 minutes of this charge session. Uh, by the time I got the camera set up, it was only about 30, 33% battery. And by the end of the charge, I would ended at about 60 or 61%. But... On the display here, what you can see, those numbers that are the 3.7 down into the uh, thousands, those are the individual cell uh, group voltages for the Bolt EV. The way the Bolt EV's battery works is it has three battery cells that are in parallel, meaning it increases the amperage but the voltage stays the same. Those are then strung in 96 series which is what brings the nominal voltage of the pack up to 350 volts. Now you can see the upper right there the charging voltage is already over 350 volts right now once you get past about 50 to 55 percent and this is where the uh, charge rate drops down or steps down to about 105 amps from the normal 125 that you would see on this station. We hit 60% battery, 20.05 kilowatt hours in 27 minutes and 32 seconds, so just a little over 40 kilowatts. Luckily, I think this wind is uh, in our favor. 